How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Let's Build with me, your host, Dom Guy. If you're unfamiliar with this series, this is where I attempt to build a functioning creation from scratch. And in today's video, I think we're going to try and build a truck and trailer. Something every Trailmaker player can use, haul your creations around from your off-road vehicles to your helicopters. So let's get to work. Alright, so first thing we need to decide with our truck and trailer is how big we actually want to make it. So do we want to try and stay proportionate to the size of the character? Or do we want to try and be proportionate to the size of the wheel? So say if we go with our truck wheel, see that's going to be a little big for the character size, but I think we can, I think we can make it work. We're going to start with a seat. Using this seat at least we'll be able to use a first person view if we choose to. So we'll have two seats, we'll keep them a space apart. Let's put a block in between them here. Just like that. The floorboards underneath. Might be a little wide. Let's bring it in. Like that. Copy that out like that. So we'll start with the cab, and we'll try and keep a wheel out here as well, just so we have something to keep scale to. So our front wheel is going to be like down here somewhere. And as far as width, let's see, if we go something like this, put that out like that, and then we're going to take our steering hinge. Pop it out that way, pop it out that way. One, two, three, four. Let's copy this out. Might be a little bit wide. We might only want to go with a deuce here. So we'll go like this, down like that. Move these ones in one. Move these ones in one. Okay, so I'm going to copy a couple of these out. Let's see where our frame of this truck is. Okay, so at least the wheels are connected there. So you could use the frame pieces, the metal frame pieces here. The grid pieces for making your frame. But for me, it's I like having connection points where I need them, when I need them. So if our wheels are going to be at that height there, then we want to make sure that our back wheels are going to be at the same, the same height. So we'll set out our distance here. We don't need steering on our back wheels, so we can copy one of these out, give it a spin. Drop it down like this. So if we copy wheels back. Oh, let's try to imagine the night there. If that's going to have a front end out there, the cab's going to be about here. So this might need to be just a wee bit longer. Oh, look at that. We got missing pieces. We need a double set of wheels in the back. So we go like this and copy these back. We'll put one gap in between them should be pretty close. So now we can start working on the body. Copy this and actually let's stick a couple engines in there while we have a gap. Some motors. So a couple motor like that. Now again we might want to use our piston glitch to get some decent wheel well shapes. And maybe we can lose the firewall for now. We'll see if we got room for that after. So we'll take these and put them right over top like this. And our wheel wells are going to be sticking out of the sides of the truck. I guess we first need to decide whether this is going to be a conventional or a cab over. Uh, yeah, let's go conventional, I guess. Do like a nice Kenworth or a nice Peterbilt shape. Try to, anyways.
So let's see how that looks if we set these down to start at, uh, let's say at half, 0 0.5, no controls, build. Yeah, that's pretty good. So the front end seems a bit skinny. That's okay. Easy fix. Easy fix. We'll just move these out one. Move these out one. This one. This one. We can get rid of this. Deuce. Copy that one. Yep. That definitely looks a little better to scale. Don't want it too, too wide. Alright. So. Now. Let's build our front end out. Let's grab first things first, a couple of grill pieces here. This front grill. Yeah, like this. Copy those up like that. Copy one of these out. Spin it right round. Like this. And like that. Okay, our grills sink one square in. Okay, we can work with that. We can put some headlights in there. Let's build up the sides here first. So we'll grab a couple more of these. Just copy these up. That's going to drop down. We can put some lights on there. Light scissors. If we go maybe like this. We want to move these in maybe. No, let's leave that gap there so we can maybe encompass those somehow. So we have blocks on either side. So even if we went with something like this. Ooh, no, we can't, because we can't connect anything on there, because then our pistons won't drop down. Uh-uh-uh, so maybe we will move these in, because we don't have any connection points on either of these objects. That will touch the side. So that will drop down, so then here we can go with some kind of bumper piece, or kind of just a smooth, maybe a 2x2, two by, two by two, like this, maybe like that. Out and over to that side. Build that in and have a look. Okay, still missing some bumper pieces in the front here, I reckon. A couple of deuces. No, actually, let's go with the one by four. Get over here. Get over here. Like this. And a lot of the time we probably won't even go one out further. So we're lined up with the front. So in order to do that, yeah, I guess we're lined up there, but we don't have any individual ones to put in there. It's alright, maybe we'll cover that up with some chrome bump of pieces. Kind of like this. And then we'll go with a couple of these ones. And we'll go with a couple of them ones in the middle. See, look at that. Beauty. Beauty bumper. Okay. Is there a reason my pistons are not going down? Is there something holding them up? We connected to something, somehow, somewhere, right there, right there. The culprit shows himself. Okay, so now we need something in there that's going to have no connection points on it. Wunderbar. So that means we're going to take this one and copy it out like this and uh, clip it upside down. Spin it around this way. Like this. Copy it. Other side. So now we don't have a second row down there. So these here 
I say these here are gonna have to move upwards. Like that. Now we build that in and they should drop down. Let's see if our stuff will stay glitched through. If we add these on the front. Our lights are kind of hiding a wee bit though. Let's get rid of those. Okay, so as far as a hood, let's try a three. Three slope like that. Throw one of those in there. Starting to look like a truck. Now, if we copy these back, we can't have those on there because then they're going to stick. So we'll bring these down here like this. And then we got to stick something on the outside of the body here that's not going to stick. It's got no connection points on it. Twos. So we can drop a two in there. What will we get? Drop another one right there. Should be good. Really good. Oh. Copy that out to there, drop it down up here. Now in here we have a connection point, but we don't want to be able to touch anything, so we are just gonna go with this two by one slope. I'm standing up in there. So there ain't no contact there, and then now we can start building the body out next to the seats here but again we got to watch for can't touch any of that stuff one of these ones here back here like that Bring this up like that, and then we can copy these. These, I reckon, are going to have to be up at least one. Because these drop when we build in, those middle ones drop. Okay, no, it's got to go up two. Just want to make sure these are at the same height when these pistons drop. So, in like this. Try that. Oh, right. They don't drop all the way down. That's right. They're at five. And we don't want them to go down just a wee bit more. So let's try setting it at 0.4. See if we can't get that hood to level out. I don't know. Maybe we'll use that as a design feature. Step hood. Step hood. Now we got this hole there that we can fill. Copy this over this side. And because we know that that is the size of one of these, we might as well just use one of these. Like that. side here hmm we can't even see out the front of our truck it's alright we don't necessarily need to actually see where our first person is top of the seat top of the seat we can see out just fine first person nope we is uh, looking through the dashboard that's alright we can always change the height of the seats after Okay, so that's where the truck is sitting currently. So now we need our windshield. Let's grab some slow pieces here. Let's make the frame of our window here. See, I would like that to be at one more. I really would. I'd actually like it to be out two more. It's not a two more. We can't do that. I'd like a Lamborghini too. That's not happening anytime soon either. 
All right, build that in. Let's have a look. See, we need to get out of this camera view. Need three or maybe a four. Do we want flat? No, let's go with a four. The top of the cab, like that. Wow, looks like a lowrider truck, man. Oh, okay, that'll be fine. Let's see, I would still like to bring those out one. I think I'm gonna, if I take one of these little slope pieces and put it down here, upside down. Like that. Facing upwards, so it won't interfere with any of these connection points down here. Let's not get too distracted by details, shall we? Let's finish off this truck. Okay, so cab comes back. We've got four wide, so we can actually take one of these. Bring it back to here. We want this to be kind of a fancy truck, right? So maybe we just going to copy a couple of these back up. Nope, let's go with something a little steeper some of these so we copy this big one here and bring this one back up one okay grab a couple of these ones here spin them right around like that Let's see, we copy one of these and spin it on its side. We'll fit out here, so we'll go one like that, one like that. That's going to give us a nice little place to put a, a step right here on this side. One on that side right there. Let's build that in. Not too bad, at least our wheel wells still look good too, even though we changed that altitude or the height that they were sitting at. Okay, so we can put some, let's put a little bit of design piece, a triangular piece, uh, that's a three by three right in here. Right in here. You could have like a wheel well looking thing like that too. But we'll keep it back here in this corner. Copy it over to this side. Okay, so now we need uh, the back of the cab. So we'll sit like this, and are we going to be lucky enough to have this fit? Of course not. So we'll just go with some more of these. Two and three. Copy those three to the other side. Just like that. We can move this back one. And then we can stick a deuce up here. So now we can build our window frame here. Uh, so what we want for window frame. So if we decide to move our seats up one more like that means we're going to need to put another one of these pieces underneath there. So now we're going to be sitting there. Uh, we're going to bring that and we're just going to pop one of these right there. Same thing with back here. I guess technically we could just bring that copy those straight up right, let's take a one by three slope stand it up put it on the back rail of the wall here like this you get a little bit of a window slope backwards like same slope as the windshield let's build that in have a look starting to look like a truck Not exactly breaking any world speed records. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. 
All right, so up here, we gonna use, again, some of our fancy little sloping pieces like this. Put them there to that side. Up here, we can go with one of our hard to use pieces. I'm watching to call it a useless piece now because I find myself using it so much since I call it that. Ironic, isn't it? Okay, so we got that, like that, like that. Uh, let's grab a medium one, be too big. Man, it's gonna be too big. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. A small one, just I don't know if it's gonna be. It'll look the same. Something like that. Next, we got the air filter on the one side. Right, let's put a stack on it. Hey, let's go with the chrome stacks. So we're gonna come in here. Grab them like this. Then we'll grab an elbow. A wee tiny elbow. Like this. Then need an upward facing point so that we can come back here. Grab this. Stand it up this way. Look like bullhorns. I'm gonna go over your bit of something like that. It's not too shabby, eh? We get rid of this, this, and this. That means that we can actually add in one of these. Fill in with one of these. One of those. I use them bubble windows somehow, somewhere. Okay, definitely need some more power. Okay, but it's not like we don't have a lot of places where we can add engines, right? We got lots and lots of room for more power. Power to the people this, like that, like that, and one more time, boom, there it is, like that, like that, uh, over the wheel wells, yeah, we might, might want to make this solidito, all the way across, like that, and yes, we will be putting a trailer on here as well, so we'll be building our trailer hinge. Throw a couple more engines back here. And these tires are already heavy enough to begin with, so. Alright, let's see if that's better. Definitely a little better. 90 kilometers an hour. I mean, you could have put a couple thrusters in there if you wanted to go a little faster. All right, let's build our trailer. We're at 185 pieces, so we are still doing all right. So the trailer is going to be. Now, do we want to make a big trailer or do we want to make a flat deck? Let's make a flat deck. That way, if you want to carry something on it, that's the easiest way to do it. You can come down. This pace here is going to be up like that. Three of these wide. The trailer would be that wide. Can need to bring these back. How long do we want our trailer? Oh, no, 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 no. 
Okay, so even if we go about that long, it's about as maximum length as we want to go. So let's copy this. Set of back wheels here. Not all the way to the back, but not too close to the front. We want it to absorb the majority of the weight. The truck's going to hold some of it. The trailer can hold the rest of it. So now we just got to make sure our wheels here are actually connected to the trailer. Like this. And like that. You might want to thin that out a little bit, the amount of pieces that we've got down there. And now we need to connect our trailer to the truck. So we want to have this detachable, so we're going to need some detachable blocks. Right under here. And we're going to set those to a sensor that automatically detaches them as soon as the truck spawns in. So that sensor will be facing into the back of the cab here. Select that to trigger this and this. Select both of those and remove the space control on them. So now, so that's going to drop down as soon as that uh, spawns in. And we want it to fall onto where we want it to be. So, we get rid of this. Put a couple of arms like this. So that we have a bit of a gap here in the middle. With that gap, we're going to go, let's see, we'll go with a little bit of uh, like this. One by two slope. So we got pieces here. We can bring this up over top. So let's give that a spin. We want to use a magnet over top of a free floating servo. Actually, we can't use a magnet because we can't turn it on and off unless we put a seat on the trailer. So let's build a physical lock for this. So we're going to need some little round pieces, one by two rounds. Make our peg. And then we just need a clasp system. So let's try this. Let's put a sensor right over top here, facing down. <clears throat> and when that sensor sees something, it can trigger our hinges to close around our peg. We want to start with it facing straight out like this. these come in to 90. 90 degree angle at uh, 0 0.1 should be fine. No controls. This sensor will trigger these ones. Let's try that. It should automatically unspawn. What was that? Oh, one of, one of the peg pieces. So the trailer does stay on. So unfortunately we are just dragging the trailer because there's no power going to the back wheels as soon as we disconnect. So if we wanted to actually keep this connected, let's lose our disconnected blocks. And we don't need to worry about these sensors and disconnecting the trailer because we'll just connect this out this way. Probably get rid of these. So now we still have our swiveling trailer on that on that hinge, but we actually have power to the back wheels because it's still connected to our build. Whoa, 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 look at the power on this thing now. Here we go. Do some, do some drifting, semi drifting. No, driving over the cliff. Oh, 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 oh! Might want to put some suspension in there. Here we 
make it up the hill, up the hill. Oh. Yeah, or you could even put a free floating hinge. Which is what I think we will do. I'm gonna grab some of the large hinge. I'm gonna put it right over top of our free floating servo. No controls on that. And do we wanna have a second set? That is sideways. And we don't want controls on those either. Strength is one. Side to side, let's say even less. So we'll say an angle of 10. So let's try that. We'll jump in. Trailer can be at a different angle than the truck itself. Yeah, so it's easy, much easier for hills and things like that. Okay, yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, so the trailer is a little bit narrow. Maybe make it one more of these blocks wide. A nice wide trailer now for carrying things. Now if you wanted to have something on here that you wanted to carry, again, you could just put some little railings on the side. So I would even go with like these. Just as markers. Almost like lights, but they're reflectors. They're just like lights, but they're nothing like lights, man. Brake lights, and we can set those to S. Press for light. So again, this would be a good kind of build if you got a friend that's got a crane or a forklift. You can load stuff up onto it. You can put some magnets on here if you want. If you want to hold them down, like to act like straps. So let's finish up some details here in the trailer. Let's put some of these in the corners here. Okay, we can grab a couple of small one by two slopes as well. That makes that look a little better. Let's see, we can put a roof rack or a rack on the back here. Like this, and then we haven't added yet is our fuel tanks. Like that. Let's see, I guess under here we can also use these small to make it look like curves underneath. Like that. Yeah, it gets a little trickier with a detachable trailer because then you're going to need a seat on your trailer somewhere, a small seat near the back where it's going to have controls for lifting the legs and detaching the magnet or whatever con connection mechanism it is that you're using. All right, let's finish up our details on the trailer here. We can use some pipe pieces to build basically a small, just a small edge railing around it. And again, you can always take the railing off if you've got something that's a little wider where the railing don't allow it to fit.
So there we go. We got our railing on there. I tend to often go with black. So let's select all our wheels. Make our secondary color in there. Gray rims. Yeah, let's go with dark gray. Light gray writing. So the trailer. Well, I guess we can find out what color we want to go with the truck first, right? These can be gray, as well as this. These will be our highlighted color. Metallic red. So we'll get the red metal. We can go here, here, this, and this. Continue it on through these. And I guess we are going to need some lights on the top of this puppy, right? Sells a horn. All right, well, that looks pretty good. I think that'll work for color. You could probably color it however you wanted to. And that's the way I'll leave that. I'll leave the trailer black just so that everything blends in. I think we're going to leave that one here for now, guys. Hope that helps you guys out, gives you something new to build. Semi truck's always a good thing to have around for hauling around your other creations or hauling around somebody else's. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, and we will see you in the next one. Ciao.